today I got a very busy day planned with a lot of stuff I gotta do. I will be releasing a video that has been edited. I've been working on it all night. Very simplistic. I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And now when I edit videos, I have to double make sure that if there's any nudity, that I make sure I get all the nudity out. Um, somebody asked me a question. Mr. AIX, why did you... What's the word? Why did I... Um, you know how when people leave comments, I um, remove the comment. I removed three of this guy's comments. Junior Ivan for Life 2009, also known as Coso 21, but we know him as Costco 21. Now, Mr. Costco 21, I did that to you on purpose. I want you to go back through my videos, and I want you to look and see what people say. You, I want you to honestly tell me that I censorship people. The only reason I censored your ass is because you pick me and you watch my videos and you have negative things to say almost on each video first you start off with your camera then you turn the camera off and you start typing um, for veteran youtubers veteran youtubers hate the shit typers we hate shit typers so in order for me to get you to turn your camera back on I start angsting your ass and I don't angst people you made a statement that Blocking a person is better than watching my bullshit. I haven't blocked you. If I was to block your ass, that's censoring, censoring your ass. I did a video comment uh, on your sister's video, and um, half the comment was cut short by YouTube. Um, I spoke to a friend of mine. I told a friend of mine that when I get when I get stuck in rhyme, it makes me feel like I'm losing my mind, and. I did a video exclusively for you and I did the whole video in rhyme and then I hit the button on YouTube and it didn't do nothing okay so so okay so okay so co um, the real AIX does everything live out the brain and if I sit down and have to edit a video for you to prove my point then that's me spending time on you I spent some time on you last night. I edited a video especially for you last night, Costco. And I truly believe a white man is not a white man if he don't have pride in himself. You don't have to have pride in your color. You must have pride in yourself first as a human being before you have pride in anything else. You know, as a human being, I stand with all the colors of the rainbow as a human being. As a black man, I don't stand with every black man. I do not stand with every black man. I do not stand with every white man. But I stand with every color of the rainbow. Understand what I mean by that. What I mean is, I respect those who have I respect those who have earned the respect from me. I give people all people a basic human respect. I'm not going to run up and hit somebody because I don't like what they're saying. I'm not going to scream out loud, you're a liar, because I don't like what they're saying. See what I'm saying? When you function in this world as a responsible, respectable human being, what did I just say? A responsible, respectable human being. Not a responsible, respectable white man. Not a responsible, respectable Mexican. Not a responsible, respectable black person. Responsible and respectful human being. I only give respect to those who give respect to me. You could walk down the street with a fucking sheet on your head. As long as you show me respect, I don't give a fuck about your sheet. You see what I'm saying? If you can't respect an individual as an individual, then you can't respect a person or a race of people. See what I'm saying? I respect everybody. I love everybody. My hand is out there for everybody. 
everybody that shows me the basic respect in which they want to receive from me. Those are the people I give a fuck about. Those white people are the ones that are going to have my back. Those people. Not those people, but those people. Those people who can look at me and see their self, regardless of what color I am. Those people can look at me and see that I am there to help them, and I'm not there to help them. So, me, personally as a man, I respect you, Soko, or Koso, Kosovo, little bro, whatever you want me to call you. I respect you for that. I respected you for hooking up your video camera and asking the questions. And you see, this is what I said last time in a video before, showing you some kind of respect, but yet and still you can't show me any respect. You constantly want to call me a racist, then I'm a fucking racist in your book. I hate white people, ha ha ha. Now what? Now that you made me say that I'm a racist, what difference will it make on the planet Earth? If I act like a racist, that will make a difference. If I use my brain to mobilize black people to say, fuck this, no more of this bullshit, and then take that same brain and mobilize white people and say, fuck this, no more of this bullshit, and then take my same mind after I get these two people together and make them march. But that's been done. I'm not gonna waste my mind power to tell those whites and blacks who get along how to get along. I'm going to waste my brain power to tell those white people and black people who have no respect for each other what the respect should be. That's what I'm going to focus on and not you. So I gave you your video. If you got something stupid to say, I'm going to ask you again. You are the only person I've done this to. I may have blocked like six or seven people because that's what I had to do. I had to block them. I don't want to block you, but you already told me. You told me to block you, but I don't censor you. I'm stopping your words from being heard. I didn't stop you from hooking up your video camera and saying what you had to say. I didn't stop you from doing that. I stopped you from typing nonsense on my page, the same nonsense you could have hooked up that video camera and said. But let's get back to the first round. You found me. You found my videos. You sought me out. You came to my house. I didn't go to your house. You came to my house. You said you, your walls are dirty. You said your dishes are dirty. You said your yard is all messed up. And then I talked back. I got a yard. I got a house. I walk around my shit. I don't look upstairs. I don't have to beat on the wall and say be quiet. I have a house. Driveway. Two cars in the driveway. One parked out front. I have a house. A home. I can go hook up a tent out in the back and sleep. I can have 15 or 20 of my white friends sleep out there. 45, 50 of people just living on me. You can't have 50 people living in your backyard or your house, your mama's house, sister's house, your cousin's apartment, wherever you at. You can't have, you can't be, you're not me. So don't belittle me in saying that I'm something that you don't know me to be. There's white people on YouTube that will kill for me. And there's white people in real life that will kill for me. Understand the word I mean kill. It will get up here and shut your ass down. Now let me say what I said. Remember that I said the first round. The first round you came out as COSO21. You did some videos and I put you on blast and you canceled it. That was the true test of your manhood. Somebody said something somebody stirred you and you looked at the situation you had to kill it you killed that situation when you cowardly backed out of the name that you started with I have been the real AIX from day one when a racist took my video and plastered me all over the nation I was scared I pulled the video I didn't pull the name and now you've been too.